In this video, we're going to cover eDPI, how you can calculate it for yourself, and what the pros are using for their own eDPI. All along the way, we'll help you figure out how to figure out the best setting for you and how to calculate how you're going to become a better Fortnite player. First and foremost, what is eDPI? eDPI is your in-game sensitivity multiplied by your DPI. By the way, quick note, we will teach you how to go through and calculate your eDPI, but one thing I want to say is that if you're trying to figure out which sensitivities you use, because I know we have the X and the Y, use your X. To make this even easier for you, there is an actual calculator that another Fortnite player and content creator has created. Their name is, I believe it's Crum, K-R-4-M or Crum. We're just gonna we're just gonna give them credit where credit is due. It's linked down in the bio. You can go click on it. It's a calculator where you can put in your sensitivity and your DPI settings, and it will output your eDPI for you. Before we head over to the website to show you how to put in your information, I want to note here why eDPI is so important. eDPI, instead of just thinking about DPI, is so important because different players have different levels of DPI in their mouse settings, but then in game they'll also have high sense, low sense, and that makes a difference. Even if you have a higher DPI, let's say 1200, 1500, 3000, really high DPI by the way, you could have really low in game sense which kind of balances it out. And I'll show you an entire chart towards the end of the video that's going to go over a lot of the Fortnite players DPI and eDPI and calculate it for you so that you can get an idea of who's using what and why that's important is because it'll help you figure out what you need to calculate for yourself. Once you head over to this website to calculate your eDPI, go ahead and put in your settings and then your DPI sensitivity. And what you're going to get is your eDPI. Now this is a percentage you can now go and compare to all these pro players that I'm going to show you here in just a second. I want to note real quick that the creator of this calculator actually says that 36 to 68 eDPI is a good like average Fortnite player's place to be. I'm going to show you though, I went through and I actually created my own sheet, my own chart to kind of go through and look at all the pro players and see where they're at to kind of give you an idea. But also another quick note, if you guys don't know about is Jarian, really big, amazing content creator. He says that a low eDPI is considered 50 and a high one is 80. So that kind of gives you you another general sense of where you want to be. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really cool. Like I said, I spent a bunch of time and I went and figured out other pro players sensitivities and DPIs and I calculated what it would be in this sheet. I'm going to show it to you right here. One thing I want to note though is that a lot of people are kind of getting fooled because they'll go find out another pro player sensitivities and then they'll go use it for themselves and realize, oh my gosh, this isn't working. It's really hard or it's really too fast or too slow. I don't get how they play like this. What they forgot to do is go and find out the DPI, which is why E DPI is so important because it calculates everything so that you can figure out which kind of sensitivity you want to have to calculate your perfect sensitivity to be correct Fortnite player. All right, here on the chart, you can actually see a lot of the different pro players. Like I said, they're sensitivities in game, the DPI, and then the DPI that's calculated here. And I even I'm going to change it for you. So it'll show, um, you know, an order of who has the lowest sensitivity in game versus who has the lowest DPI in game, and then even who has a low or a high E DPI overall. And then also on the side, I kind of categorize them because I'm like a weirdo and I like to color code everything. Ignore me, it's fine. But it's really nice to see a, and compare yourself to these pro players and see what they're doing and what's working for them. And then you can kind of decide, are you a high sense player? Are you a low sense player? I'm a big believer that it doesn't matter if you're high sense or low sense, you need to figure out what works for you. Don't listen to the people that say high sense is better, low sense is better. I mean, you're gonna hear me say that I think high sense is better, but that's because that's what works for me. And you need to figure out what works for you and, and realize that both high sense and low sense can work really, really well because you've seen really low sense players just be absolutely cracked, have crazy good aim, and just have insane control over their game versus high sense players who can go really quickly, have really fast edits, can build really in, in nuts ways and just go really quickly through builds. They can both accomplish both as long as you're willing to put in the work and figure it out and figure out what works best for you. That's the best place to be. And that's why this video is so helpful is because it helps you determine what your EDPI is, how you compare to other people, and maybe where you can make a couple of adjustments to make it even better. Another uh, quick note here. I based my DPI uh, off of the, <laughs> the guy that you see all the way down there at the bottom. I think you pronounce his name Polga. Um, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but that's the one that I got mine off of. My DPI personally is actually 3000, which is insanely high. 
don't compare it or use it for yourself if you don't feel comfortable totally fine i really enjoy it and uh my edpi is actually pretty high but you can compare yours to some of the other pro players because they perform really well in tournaments which tells you that they were able to make these sensitivities and edpis work for them now that you've gone through and calculated your own edpi what i want you to do is go down in the comment section and t and write in what your EDPI is. Let us know what you got, what you calculated, so that we can all compare each other's and see who has high, who has low, and just remember that there's no one size fits all here. It's, it's gonna be very different for everyone, but it's gonna be kinda cool to see, go down the comment section and see what other players, not just pro players like I have in this chart, but what other players like you who are just playing the game on a, on a general basis, what their EDPI is, so that you can get a good idea and sense of what maybe you wanna have yours be as well. One thing I want to note too is if you go through and you see the comment section and you see this chart of the pro players and you go do some own, your own research to go see what other players sensitivity and DPI is and their EDPI overall and you decide that you want to change it for yourself so that you can get better at the game or maybe try something new or change it up. I want to note that you're not going to be good right off the bat. So if you go and take Mongrel's DPI, for instance, or sorry, EDPI, you're not instantly going to be playing like Mongrel or editing like Mongrel. You're going to have to put into practice and change it up and, and, and actually put in the work to figure things out. So give it some time, but change it up. And what I love about this is I'm such a geek. I love that we can actually calculate how to get better at the game by looking at some examples of what other people are doing and what we can do to make ourselves better as well. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to comment with your EDPI number that you got. You can use the calculator that I offered earlier. It's again, just down link down below. Uh, if you want to join in on our lives, we're live uh, multiple times throughout the week on TikTok. We're also live streaming here on YouTube as well. Otherwise though, I hope that you have an amazing day. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy watching tutorials and ways for you to continue to get better at the game. I definitely do. I enjoy learning new things and getting better at it because for whatever reason, when we get better at a game, it's just that much more fun. Have an amazing day. Keep killing it. And I'll see you very soon.